Hello, this is Blas Pairi, and we are going to see how to create and use in DaVinci Resolve an effect of reverse reverberation or reverse reverb. So this is a non-naturalistic uh, effect, as uh, in nature it never uh, happens to, to have a reverse uh, reverberation. So we can use it uh, for uh, several purposes. One is, is to create an uh, unreal effect, a special effect for dreams or for uh, weird situations. Or also it can be just like a musical uh, element uh, that uh, makes uh, like a, a call for attention or just a rhythmic uh, pattern. So let's go and see how to use it. Let us start with a dialogue uh, scene like this one. Comprale algo a tu mujer o a tu hija, si tienes. No lo hago por eso, en serio. Lo hago porque me gusta. We need first to make a copy of uh, the file in uh, Fairlight and uh, then uh, we will mark with in and out the exact region that we want to copy and then process, and it doesn't have to be exactly the same as uh, the original file. We can just select a portion. So we go to Timeline in order to create a bounce to a new track. So when we process it, we get a new file that we can now process. So we can go now to the edit page in order to revert uh, the sound. But first we need to put markers at the beginning and the end of the region that we are going to revert so that later we can position exactly the processed file in its location. So we can now reverse the sound with uh, right click and choosing uh, change speed and uh, reverse uh, the speed. So we have now the reverted sound. So we are going to go back to Fairlight and uh, now we are going to add a reverb uh, effect. So it's important that we add this effect to the track header and not directly to the sound file. So we can adjust uh, the parameters like the dry-wet ratio and uh, like the reverberation time. We can listen to the effect and adjust new parameters. So we are going to bounce now the resulting file with the uh, reverb sound. And it is important to know that uh, as we have a reverb tail, we need to increase the region that we are going to save. So we put a marker and uh, with the letter O, we increase the space that we are going to use to uh, take in account this uh, reverb. So we go back now to Timeline and uh, bounce to Mix and we bounce to a new track and we get now a new file with the reverse sound and the reverb. Now we are going to go back to Edit and we are going to reverse this new uh, file. And now we are going to get the real reverse reverb. So now we notice that uh, the new sound file is not in synchronicity with the original dialogue. So 
In order to adjust in uh, time this new file, we need to use the marker we had before and set the end of the new file to this marker. We can unmute the original dialogue in order to get more direct sound. We are going now to see a different use of the reverse reverb by watching this video and uh, we have added a uh, music. So in this case we have an initial note that corresponds to a change of shots, but we have nothing really before this initial note. So we are going to use the reverse reverb to add a beginning. So we are going to return to Fairlight. We are going to select the initial note with in and out, I and O, and we are going to bounce this note, uh, going to timeline and uh, and bouncing to a new track. So now we return to the edit page and we are going to set markers at the beginning and the end of this new file. And now we are going to right click to change the speed and make a reverse speed. So we have the reverse sound. We return then to Fairlight we solo the new file and we are going to add a reverberation to this track. Again, it's important to add it to the track header. Then we can configure the reverberation, for instance, adding new reverberation time. So before bouncing the new sound with the reverb, we need to mark with in and out a region that includes the reverb tail. So we need to leave some space for the reverb to fade out. So we go back to timeline to make a bounce to a new uh, track. So we, we get now the reverse sound, but the normal reverberation. So we return now to the edit page and right click and uh, we change the speed and we reverse the speed to get the reverse sound of the new file. So we have now the reverse reverb, but uh, the note is in the right uh, direction, as we have reversed two times the speed of uh, the note. So we suppress the intermediate uh, note and we shorten the new file. So we need now to synchronize the new note with uh, the original uh, file and for that matter we are going to shorten it off and we are going to set the end of the region with the marker.
So once it is uh, synchronized, we can shorten it and remove uh, any extra parts of the note and put a fade in for security sake. We can modify the synchronization so we can move to the right the reverse reverb in order to blend it with the original note. So I hope this has been useful and that uh, you can create now special effects that uh, will enhance your sound.